this is a restoration of the Stirling MK4 submachine gun on one single scale. I used a Spanish piece from the 70s, that's Caperman, but you can do the same with a Sterling G.I. Joe or Action Man. The Stirling MK4 is a 9mm English submachine gun and production started at 1944. We can see it in a lot of war movies. And doesn't that look familiar to you? Yes it is. The Star Wars Stormtrooper Blaster E11. Ok, let's go. To make the new rifle bat, I used a black CD slim box. Maybe you still have one at home. A mini hand drill, pliers, a cutter and CA glue. When you cut, you will see the slim box is very frail. It's polystyrene but very rigid, so cut without rush. 4 corners, 4 chances. We cut it the 90 degree structure. I cut another piece to close the triangular bat and stick the three pieces with CA glue. Watch out for cyanocrylate, it sticks to the skin in seconds. I had my table full of plastic cuttings, so I made a new trigger too. It's boring to cut out such a small piece, so patience. I don't use GI Joe Kung Fu Creep here. I also made the mag for the bullets. It's a piece difficult to get. These are originals. From a normal CD case, I cut out two pieces. It's a more flexible material. I stick it the two parts together. The look is different, straight in, but it doesn't look bad. I also made a new grip for the strap. We're gonna use metal rivets. We'll use the long part that's like a needle. Choose a small rivet and remove the board. Cut off the head with the pliers. Clean the area in the sterling where the butt will be glued. Then we make a drill to insert the tip of the rivet and we stick it with CA glue. It will stick the metal well with the plastic. Now we can stick the rifle butt. Press with tweezers. Allow to air dry and we've got the rifle butt finished. This is how Sterling looks, restored versus original. Original is the one below, cannot see the difference in two feet. And now the final touch. We will make the strap very simple. Original strap measures 16 cm, my shoes 11. Use any black flexible plastic material. Cutting with ruler 2 or 3 mm wide. In the ends of the strip we make two eyelids. We pass the eyelids through the grips and that's it. You can paint the glue pieces with black enamel matte. This is the final look of the restoration. Not bad, right? Thank you for watching. Share if you like it. See you around.